Hello there everybody, in this video we are going to see how to transfer the textures from a model with a UV to this same model but with a different UV. So let's say you've changed the UV from a model but it's already textured and it has all the big maps in it but you don't want to make it again so you want to transfer it to the new UV and we are going to do it this time in Substance Designer and in a later video we are going to do it in Blender but for this one let's start first what we need to do is to import the models that we are going to bake from and bake to and in this case I'm going to use this Edmontosaurus here we have the new UV and the old UV Let's grab them both into the graph. All right, we are going to right click in the Add Motosaurus New, or in your case, your new UV model. And when we right click on it, we are going to bake model information. And here is where we are going to make the change. And to do that, first we are going to add the high definition model here it's not going to be a high definition model it's going to be the model that we have right here from resources we get the old one okay and then choose the size you want it we are going for a 4k map ntli is saying we normally use this in 2x2 and another thing that I found to be pretty useful is to uncheck this guy here and make this value really, really small. So at the moment it's in 0 0.01. I'm going for 0 0.001 because it's literally the same model. The only difference is the UV. So all the vertices they are in the same place if you choose anything that is greater than zero it should give you a good result and i'm doing this because of the map uh the normal map baking process so i'm choosing this 0 0.001 let's select it ctrl c and let's copy it to this one here as well apply and now the bake process that we are going to use here in add baker we click it and we go to transferred texture from mesh click it and then here we are going to see the baker's parameters and in this case we're going to keep it like this and just the texture file which is the one we want to change we are going to transfer the old one to the new uv set is going to come from this guy here so in this case i'm going to get it from file so click here we are going from file and then locate your file change it from adobe photoshop to all and you should be able to see all the textures that you have in the folder okay and from here we are going to select first let's go with a simple color in the next one we are going to do the normal map for example let's go with this um base color so select it press open and that's it now the only thing we need to do is click this start render and there we go we have our texture transferred into the new uv and that's how simple it is now what we're going to do is a little bit different because we're going to do it for the normal map and first let's just close this one and save this one 
Okay, let's um double tap it and save it to the new location. Nice. Now we are going to do the baking of the normal map. And to do that, we are going to do the same again. It's just right click here, bake model information. And then what we need to do here is just change this guy here. We are going to click it. So it is a normal map. So we need to check it. Make sure the normal orientation is the one that you want. In this case, mine is direct X. And now we are going to select the normal map that we want to bake. And it's going to be from file. Let's select here open and now the only thing you need to do is a start render okay that's it now we just wait a little bit and so it finishes rising the image and done now the only thing we need to do is close this guy here and save the new normal map to where you want. Okay, now that we have it saved, let's check it out and see if it works the way that it's supposed to work. So let's get this new model here and bring it to here. And then select this normal map here, bring it with the right click and drop it there and select normal now let's see if it worked let's get close to it and yeah it seems like it worked very nice hope it worked for you as well and see you in the next one bye